Hello everybody, I'm back with another micro quadcopter review. This time it's from SPC, it's X90. As I told you, it's micro quadcopter 90mm size. We will check the box, then I will show you the components. We will also see the flight footage and I will tell you my opinion about the quadcopter. Enjoy the video! The box is really small, but there is a lot of things inside, so let's check that. A quadcopter, a velcro strap for battery, joystick for camera, also spare ring and case for the camera, screws for the propellers and set of the propellers. Let's check those propellers, they are almost a 2 inch size, their name is Halki and they look pretty durable. And first look at this quadcopter, this is really one of the nicest quadcopter I've seen, it's really small and cute and this green line looks really nice, so design is awesome. And let's check the components of this quadcopter. There is F3 flight controller with integrated OSD, it's Omnibus. Uh, Android there is a 4-in-1 regulator which is 15 amperes. There is a VTX which is switchable from 25 to 100 milliwatts and it has got 40 channels. There is a button to change it. The linear antenna. Mine version is first sky, so there is a first sky receiver. The connector for battery is XT30, the motors are uh, 1104 size and 7500 kV. The weight of this micro quadcopter is 62 grams without the battery, the camera is 800 TVL and as I've told you the size motor to motor is 90 millimeters. There is also a buzzer so you can turn it on with a switch on your radio, that's great with micros because they are easy to lose in a tall grass. And now all I have to do is to bind the receiver to my Taranis, I will connect it to the computer, see the basic configuration and you will see the flight footage. That was my flying with this little boy, as you've seen, it does not fly bad, uh, in general I don't like 2 inch quadcopters, I prefer 3 inch and more, because they are much more stable and easy to control, but this one, 
the design is nice, the components are pretty good, but it is not ready from the box. You have to set RX on UART3 instead of 1, so that's one mistake. And the second one is the PIDs. The P was too boosted, so I had to decrease it a lot because it vibrated a lot. So I will insert my PIDs into the description of the video. They are not perfect, but they fly much better or the model flies much better with them. So that was my review of this tiny boy. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you next time.